What's going on everyone, it's Justin here and today we've got a very cool video for you and it's a fact that we're about to get a call from Craig Federighi in just a couple minutes, who's the Senior Vice President of Software Engineering at Apple and you might have seen him from all the events, of WWDC for example, and we're gonna be asking him a couple questions both in terms of his desk setup as well as their approach to communication and what they see in the whole ecosystem moving forward. So this is honestly like super cool for me because I started making YouTube videos about 13 years ago and I just remember like running to the library and trying to catch a little bit of WWDC's main keynote and I'd run around and tell all my friends about the new releases and I was really really into the tech side of things whether it was software the computers and also the kind of beta side of things where I would download it on my smartphone and try out all the new features for the very first time so it's super cool that we get to do this so without further ado let's just go ahead and jump right into it Hello. Hey, Craig. How are you? Hey, Justin. I'm doing all right. Yeah, really enjoyed the event yesterday, by the way. And um, Oh, good. Yeah, I remember uh, I started making YouTube videos about 13 years ago about uh, Apple products, and I would like sneak to the library during recess and try to catch as much of the WWDC uh, conference. So, um, yeah, I really appreciate this opportunity to be able to speak with you. Oh, well, thank you so much for uh, taking the time. Yeah, the uh, the production quality of the of the events in last year has been really nice. The Apple Park looks absolutely beautiful, and um, yeah, that's something that uh, we really appreciate, like the video side of things, but of course also the the tech and the iOS and all the exciting updates. Um, so yeah, I thought I would uh, ask you. Um, we do cover a lot about like desk setups and like workspaces, and I know that's been a huge part of Apple's focus, both on like the software side. But I was curious, uh, what is your kind of go-to desk setup, uh, your favorite accessories, your go-to like tech products, whether it's the computer and sort of the work from home or the like the office setup? Like my physical setup. Well, of course, uh, I, I gather I gather you probably have a uh, much more refined setup than I do. I when uh, we first all uh, got sort of shoved out the door and had to go work at home, I was uh, uh, having to innovate with uh, with what I could find lying around the house, and so I had like what was pretty much one of those uh, you know tables you'll you'll put out like a card table <laughs> kind of thing. I unfolded, and then I. Uh, uh, you know, stack some books up to put a 27-inch monitor on, and then I, I open my 13-inch uh, uh, M1 MacBook Pro in front of it. So I've got kind of an over/under, you know, two-screen sure. kind of thing, uh, and I like using the trackpad. Um, so, so that's my my main deal there. And then I usually have an iPad, um, actually a couple of them off to the each side. Uh, but my real innovation was for the the sit stand thing. I found a uh, oh, yeah. a, a, a foot a footstool nearby, which I then put on the table. Okay. And so mid meeting, okay. I just lift my display up and uh, drop it up there. And so you get you get an upper body workout incorporated with the whole <laughs> uh, the whole thing. So yeah, it's 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 pretty embarrassingly low tech, but uh, does the job. No, the standing desk has definitely been like a huge trend that we've seen um, become very popular. I know like the setup has really changed. Like um, for people in tech who try out a lot of products, it's always exciting to see the the new ones coming out. The M1 lineup has also been a lot of fun. Um, the iMac has become a, a, a very nice go-to product for conference calls and everything. Um, so I was like, what's like your kind of most exciting feature that that uh, is, I know there's a lot of different things that were announced yesterday, um, but what's like your single most exciting feature to, to utilize, uh, whether it's on the iOS, the iPad OS, and the Mac OS side? Yeah, most exciting. So, uh, of course, on, on the one hand, I really love the, the new enhancements we made to the Swift language, but I don't think that's what you're asking about. On the, on the consumer front, the the thing I'm most eager to use more broadly right now is everything we announced with SharePlay because it's one of yeah. those things we've been working on so hard, but we've only been able to use it with each other at work, not the people, not our friends and family sure. you know, who they don't even get to know what we're working on until now. So now with the public beta just around the corner, I hope to have a lot of uh, a lot of friends and family I can start share playing with. And uh, I think that's going to be fantastic. For sure, yeah. It's always fun to like share videos with, and I know like the supported platforms as well. I'm constantly sending links to like a funny video. I'm watching a lot of TikTok in the past year or so. Um, but that transitions into like my main question of like, how do you manage the creativity and decide which features get implemented? Um, and is it based on consumer need, similar to like the big focus on like FaceTime and the whole like video conferencing experience of people using their devices for both uh, personal and also work life? Yeah, you know, I think what's uh, really 
special about Apple, and I think why a lot of us are drawn to Apple is to build the products we want for ourselves, which may sound yeah. kind of selfish, but you know, you, we grow up using Apple products. We all dream about what could be, and we come here to, to, to do it. And so, so much of what we build and what we built this time were the kind of things that we said, you know, what would be great is if I could watch things together with people on FaceTime and uh, you know, all, all of these things. And so they're always ideas flowing around this place. Some, some of the ideas that we, um, implemented this year you know we first were talking about them 10 years ago and five years ago but part of what was we looked to figure out what we should do in any given year it is a little bit dictated by what do we think we want what do we think that the that the world is ready for what do we think uh you know, all the, the techno technological stars are aligning, you know, now with uh, everyone online to the degree they are with the connectivity we have. It was a moment where this vision we've had for so long about being together, even when you're not physically together and extending these experiences, it felt like we could really deliver on it in a big way this year. And so when the stars align like that, then you start pulling on all of those those threads, pulling them all together. And uh, and that's what we did this year with uh, with SharePlay. For sure. Yeah, I think like the whole like unification and the emphasis on ecosystem has been really cool to see the M1 lineup uh, of like iOS and uh, or like the iPad OS and the Mac side seeing the whole like thing that brings everything together. It seems like uh, FaceTime back in the day, uh, it was a lot of fun to be able to call friends uh, when video conferencing was still uh, relatively new, at least for someone in my generation yeah. still trying to try it out. But it's cool to see, especially in the last year, um, the whole sense of uh, community group calls have also become very big. Um, for business, I think uh, highlighting the, the users is also really cool, the audio features. Um, so it's nice to see that um, the whole unification of an importance of ecosystem that Apple has done not only in FaceTime but in the different operating systems between platforms as a whole. And I think, like as a as a tech user who constantly is trying to find the best tools to use, uh, both for entertainment and work, uh, all the devices are kind of blended in my lifestyle. Um, that's it's all it's all very exciting, and uh, we really look forward to the products that are coming out in the future. Oh, well, I'm so glad you like it. And uh, we, you know, I mean, what makes it all meaningful and worthwhile for us is is when people like you love what we do. And so I'm, I'm really glad to hear that. For sure, yeah. Thanks so much for your time, by the way. Yeah, great meeting you. Hope to see you again sometime. So that is the interview with Craig. And as I said, that is a super cool opportunity because after all these years of watching WWDC, to be noticed by Apple and to be able to check out all the latest and greatest tech products and inform you guys is really the main intention of all of this. And to be totally honest, you guys know I've been a huge fan of the M1 lineup since it was announced. The software side of things has really unified the entire lineup. And Apple's also focused a lot on features that consumers have been asking for, especially in the past couple years. I think Apple has done a really good job in the M1 lineup in the fact that it is both on the tablets, the desktops, and eventually maybe even making its way to more mobile devices. But it just shows how much power Apple's own silicon is. And it just shows how much innovation is going to be coming in the future now that Apple has full control over their hardware and their software experience to give the consumers the best features possible. It was also kind of cool to talk about the desk setup as well. And it just goes to show everybody's desk setup is very different. And for a lot of people having to shift over to working from home, um, just setting something up that works in the meantime is really nice. But on the channel and also on our page, iSetups, we tried to at least like show some inspiration of setups that you guys can kind of build for yourselves, as well as a makeover series where we actually went to people's houses and did their setup for them. So it was kind of cool to talk about like the personal side of things and the kind of setup that he's gone with. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you drop a like and I'll see you all in the next one.